So one day I was walking down the street and I tripped and fell and lost my entire can of Pringles in my pussy. That sucks. Oh. I, I know, know man. That my vagina was salty for a week. That, 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 that <clears throat> I have a feeling that stung pretty bad. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, well, hello everyone and <clears throat> welcome to the Bears and Tools podcast. No clue what number this is. So, uh, it's that one number that comes after the uh, one we did it's last time? It's number seven. Number seven, I knew that. We're lucky number seven. So, yeah. First thing I'd like to talk about today is the... I think we talked about this before. The achievement leaderboard on the Xbox. Shouldn't we, shouldn't we talk about uh, who's joining us? Oh yeah, kind of, kind of forgot. We have a special guest today. Who's not really a special guest because this isn't <clears> supposed to be a set amount of people. But uh, Brady, yeah, he's making, he's making a return to Tear It Down Productions. Who? Been a I'm while. Not sure if he was on. Cause I don't know if we we didn't have Tear It Down. It was. We were, sure I we think were, but... 2012. The last thing he was in when yeah, we did uh, Outbreak. So, yeah, welcome back, Brady. Oh, I'm happy. Um, oh. Yeah. Hopefully, he can start being in more stuff. Maybe some live action. That'd be cool. Yeah, now that's over with. Uh, the thing I want to talk about, the Xbox <laughs> Achievement Leaderboards. So, as as you may know, when you're watching this and when we're recording this, because it's 12.58, it is August 1st. I'm not happy that it's August 1st, because school comes back soon. But it is, so, yeah. So every month, the Xbox has a thing where it has a gamer score leaderboard. So when you earn achievements, if you're on PlayStation, it's the equivalent to trophies, as you probably know. Uh, and you get gamer score for them. And I was playing some speedrunners with the gang, everyone else in this, in this podcast, actually. And I got a yeah. 100 gamer score achievement prior to... Er, Prior to getting that achievement, I got like 60 or 70, and apparently, apparently I got 80, because I'm at 180. Uh, I got an 80 in this other game, and I'm like, wow, I'm going to be like way ahead of everyone this month, just off the bat, because I already have almost 200. And then I looked, and uh, let's, just, let's just take a look at this. I thought I was cool with 180, and then this person has 280. This person has 345, so... Just refresh to see. No, nothing's changed. I, I thought I thought I was gonna be way ahead, and then I'm barely in third place. So that was very disappointing. I'd just like to uh, say real quick: this is me, that Chadley. Players cool you're not is Dylan, Tom Cruise, McIntyre. McTwisty Flops is Andy. My turn to sore than Gavin. Uh, D, I think. Uh, yeah, that's what I have him named as. And Hawkeyes is Brady, because Brady doesn't have a special name. Because... No, I don't. I don't know why. But he'll get something soon. Don't you worry. We used to call him Tom. Tom Tom. That's not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? What do you mean, Tom? I'm gonna, I'm gonna rename you. Oh, I don't know how to rename. Okay, hold on. This is a new Skype, as you can probably tell. I forgot to mention that. It's uh different than than everything else you are probably Brandy Brady. <laughs> Brandy. <laughs> Brady. So uh this is a new new Skype. It's uh kind of weird. Not quite I already have a nickname it. if you want to use that. Oh, is it Doug? Yep. Nah. Whatever, Tom. <laughs> So, I'm Brady Bush. <laughs> All right. Oh, I didn't update. Okay. Well, I'll I'll figure that out. Just just know that, that, that he's Tom Brady. Uh, that that's actually not how they came up with that. I think maybe it was. I don't remember. It how is. Did it was okay. I thought it was some. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely came up with it through that. Not my proudest moment. It's not my proudest moment of you either. 
Yeah, Tom Brady. Believe me, I'm not very happy with it either. Uh, why? Why do you care, Mister? My turn because, to than Gavin. Because everybody has rights. <laughs> what? <laughs> And, and I feel like you him. are invading his rights. He has a right to own his name. He he does own his name. Yes. Or does he? Question mark. He does. I mean, he doesn't. You can't like copyright a name, but. Watch me. You can I copyright like a uh, business name or a band name. Yeah, but not. I'm, I'm gonna not be a name. A... The name name. I'm gonna copyright. I'm gonna copyright my first and last name. Andy and. And also the name Adolf Hitler. <laughs> okay. That's for that. my exclusive views. So next podcast, Andy's name will be changed to Adolf Hitler, and it will also be copyrighted. So. Yeah. I'm look out for that. Yeah, I'll be ready. I'll be in the news everywhere. Everybody's gonna hate me. Everybody. Everybody, but you know. Everybody. Any any publicity is good publicity. So that's it. I don't say that, but no, you do not. <laughs> nope. <sighs> so uh, so Tom, how did that uh turd feel? That's what it sounds like you just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's not definitely not what it was. So uh, the thing we were discussing, we were about to discuss before we started the podcast, and we're like, oh, we better discuss this on the podcast, because that'll be interesting to to get a reaction. So Andy, you were talking a few weeks back on a podcast about your uh, new video you found. Would you, t- yeah. be, uh, would you be a pal and tell Brady, Tom, about that? Alright, so here's how it goes. Oh, and you gotta tell him how Super you discovered granny. it. Too. Super Granny. Popular series from Terradown Productions. Um, people have found it by searching a very strange thing in the YouTube search bar, That's a such as like statement. "grandma fucking lesbian granddaughter," <laughs> like, oh, shit <laughs> like that. <laughs> so we were running a little experiment. So I searched up like some stupid shit like "granny takes hard crock from hard cock from." lesbian granddaughter and um I get across this interesting video called uh it's called Cool Aid Porn eighteen plus only. <laughs> and what and happens li- in this video? It's like literally like the first like ten seconds are just like like an introduction to like whoever made this masterpiece <laughs> and then Wait, wait, and then wait, it's wait. like it all makes 30 sense seconds now. of like two Kool Aid pictures, one red, one pink, just fucking have an anal, you know? And they're just going, that's hot. oh yeah. That's pretty hot, if you ask me. It's sexy as fuck, that's what it is. I came in my pants in the second I saw it, but. Just the idea of it, it makes you want a nut. Yeah, I know, right? I want to go, like, make some Kool Aid, jizz in it. Stir it up a little bit, see how it tastes. Not gay or anything, because I'm doing it with myself. Is that how that works? Of course. It's I... just fucked up. It's so, not uh, gay. It's just fucked up. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna send myself a screenshot I just took from my phone, and I'm gonna open it up and uh, show you that these are just uh, a few of the search terms people have found for Super Granny Five. But I figured out... Which is our most viewed video on our yes. channel. I figured it out. We have always wondered why people went on YouTube to search for this stuff. Like, no, nobody understood. And I'm also going to send a screenshot of uh, some of the the videos that suggested Super Granny. Uh, but but people search these things. And they're like, why would they go on YouTube for that? Don't they know that like this stuff would get taken down? On YouTube, like they're not gonna, they're not gonna get anywhere. And I, there's better sites for them to look for this exactly. stuff. Exactly, but but we discovered, or not, <clears throat> not we, I just now discovered, uh, doing a search, uh, sends, uh, that Fuck. that that's not the case. Our top external source is Google search. 
68.7%. So I'm what? guessing that people search these things on Google and for some reason see the YouTube thing and he hear some of the videos. And are like, hmm, well, it's YouTube, but I, I mean, it's, it's a granny. And then they, they click on it. And I guess that's how, and it, it all makes sense now. But these are just some, some videos, like... Things that like this, it was on the side of these videos. Yeah. Well, like, it's just like people, like, jokingly looking up, like, some fucked up shit about grandmas. <laughs> it's like they just come across, like, ah. super green. Ah. Um, <laughs> oh god, that's... that's disgusting. Not apparently to, uh... 2,756 people. See with that. Well, so, I mean, not not everyone they clicked on it was was trying. So to I can't actually see that screenshot you sent. Which so, one? uh, the one with all the videos. One of them is so, Grandma's damn. granny porn. <laughs> Grandma confused by lesbian behavior. Spelled with a U. <laughs> you know that they're that that so they're really British. does. Britain really does love granny porn. Naughty grandma. Oh. So Britain's got silent, it's Britain's got granny porn. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like go up on stage and I'm like, here's my grandmother. <laughs> and what can she do for us today? That may be well, the worst British accent I've ever heard in my life. They don't have well, to be British. Well, probably done a worse one. They don't have to be British. You're right. Half the judges on America's Got Talent are American, so... And half the judges on America's Got Talent are British. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. Because it's filmed in America. Made in America. Not even all the contestants are, in Amer are <laughs> Americans. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, that, I, I, just, I just wanted to give a little update on that. So, hey guys, see any good granny porn recently? No, actually, I haven't. Have you? No, no just me. All right. <laughs> oh, I've seen a shit ton, dude. I love that shit. I'll, I'll let you uh, keep that one to yourself. I'll let you not give us the details. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You see, there's this one with a dog. I, no, okay, no, I say I, this is where we stop. Yeah, let's... <laughs> let's, uh, not. Nah. So let's change the subject. Uh, to anyone that has an iPhone, uh, you can get an iOS 11 beta. They're open to but really, who That's cares about cool. Apple? Let's be real. I do. Oh, you know, I can really relate to this, you know. Me and my iPhone, you know, I love this thing. It's the uh, iPhone uh, iOS 6 or whatever. Uh, okay, okay, if you want to go there. Let's talk about your phone and how great it is. Uh, how great or it is that it dies in five minutes storage. from 100%. So, it's the greatest phone in the world. Yeah, it, it lies to me. It tells me I have 8 gigabytes, but really, like, half of that's taken up as soon as you get the phone. Yeah, and then from there, it's just... Move. And then it's just like, hey, you know what? You try to do anything else, and you lose all that extra space you have. Yeah, it really sucks not having space. I, it makes I me say, like, like, what the freaking heck, dude? What the freaking heck? So, uh, just... something that i just like to throw out real quick. I doubt this will happen anytime soon, if ever. Yeah. But, uh, the deals with gold for Xbox this week... Includes mm -hmm. games like Modern Warfare 2 and 3 and 1. So, the top the top reply to Major Nelson's tweet that he tweeted out those deals is, MW2 and MW3 are on sale this week. Back compat incoming question mark? And somebody replied, exactly what I was wondering. So, you know what? Jeez, that was, was really real like that to happen, but I doubt it. I doubt it's gonna happen soon. You know what I'm excited for? What? All the old Halo games becoming backwards. Are you really more excited for those in MW3 and stuff? Yeah. 
That's like your favorite Call of Duty, and all the Halos are already on the one in the Master Chief collection. Yeah, but Halo 4, we got Clue, and we can play Quantum from Halo 3 again. Yeah, but... Firefight on the one. Okay, yeah, that that that's good. I mean, I'm not going to enjoy it as much, because the controls are going to be awful. But... What you going to do? Yeah, dude. What are you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you when gonna they do? come for you? What you gonna do when they come for you? I'm just gonna bust. Call the cops. That makes me feel good. <laughs> and why? Why does busting make you feel good? I, I don't know, man. It's just something about busting, you know. And, uh, what's quite a You mean busting a rhyme? I think he's talking yeah, about ghosts. Busting a ghost. Ghostbusters? But, uh, Bustin' makes me feel fan fucking fantastic. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? I better not. I was gonna say that I'll show you some uh, pictures from my good friend Murphy, but he doesn't really have a filter. So there's, yeah. this, there's this bot on Skype where you can ask what if questions. Like, what if, say, Tom Cruise was was Dylan McIntyre. Sure. And then it like immediately sends you back a picture where it like poorly photo or sometimes poorly, sometimes it's actually really good. But uh photoshops like Tom Cruise's face on Dylan McIntyre. And sometimes just like completely absurd pictures that have nothing to do with what you what you typed in. And they're really funny, but uh, we were we were typing some stuff earlier about Andy's dog because we were having a debate, and let's just say it sent some. Uh, uh, how do I put this? Some interest. Interesting some pictures that may have in, involved uh, something something that Andy's dog may or may not have. I'm not gonna say anymore. It just it, it, it scarred me for life. So Murphy, <laughs> you've sent me some great pictures, but some some things, some things I wish you'd just keep to yourself. I would I would put them in the video to sh to show you what I'm talking about, but I one I don't I don't think anyone actually wants to see that. Two, I don't want anything to happen to this video, whether it's age restriction or. Or, or something. I, I, I know nobody wants that. But if you have Skype, and if you don't have Skype, please get Skype. It's amazing. Uh, they are not get, a sponsor. They're not a sponsor. Get this <gasps> spot right here, Murphy. <laughs> Who, for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> not, no, oh no, my god. I'm Brady, coming at you live from the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing this game because I'm too focused and around paying attention. But I just played Freebird, and my arm is killing me because it has that little section at the end where you just spam as hard as you can. Yeah. Oh yeah, I totally know that part, and I love it so much. So uh, here's an example I, of what Murphy can do. Usually he's not being being a turd, but <laughs> you you say uh, I was just curious to say to see what it would do if I said what if I could play the guitar, because usually it's just like what if this person was this person. So he asked me to upload a picture of myself, so I uploaded a picture of Barack Obama. Not the best quality, but he's like, sorry, I only accept images with faces in them. I don't I don't seem to be able to locate a face in this attachment. I'm like, wow, that's just rude. And so so I said, How a dare you talk about their president like that? He's not the president anymore, but yeah, you know. So uh, Our ex I, I got in the picture I guess he was the president. So uh, I sent another one. Still nothing. I sent a lot queer one, still nothing, so I just googled the word face and started sending some of the results. Nothing for that one, nothing for that one, nothing for that one, nothing for that one. He just wasn't accepting face faces. So I tried again and but I actually said my name instead of instead of I and he sent things like this. So then I tried to send it again, he still wasn't accepting it. But what let's give an example. What if Andy D was 
with uh, Kyle. <laughs> just Kyle. Kyle. Just Kyle. <laughs> so yeah, he'll send you back a picture like this that is just completely random. Random people named Andy and random people named Kyle photoshopped on each other. And if like you, on each other. If you do things like a smiley face, then it uh, it should like take like I think this face and pop it on another dude's face. <sighs> so uh, yeah, that's Murphy. I enjoy the bot a lot. Damn it. So if you, if you have Skype, it's really fun to mess around. You can also do things like. What if they had long hair and it'll try to like Photoshop hair on them? Or what if they had no hair? But we usually don't use that one very much. I kind of forget it exists. I didn't know it was a thing, honestly. Yeah. It is, though. Yeah. That's Murphy. Anyone have anything Murph. they'd like to, like to say? There was something I wanted to say, but I can't remember what it was now. Regarding Murphy? Or just something in general? Something in general, because I was waiting till you were done talking about Murph until I said it, and then I forgot what it was. Alright, well, I oh, got... Why'd you do that? I got, a, I got a thing I would like to say. If anyone out there has... I'm not sure if it's... I don't think it's on anything but who. If anyone out there has Hulu, I recommend that you watch the show Lucifer. It's a very good show. Oh, Lucifer, what a great show! It's uh, it's about it's about the devil who who decides he wants to take a vacation and move to Los Angeles, and then Ooh. he becomes a uh, uh, get what his his term is, but basically he uh, solves crime. A private consultant for the police yeah and it's it's a very good show it's the best show i've seen in a very long time um speaking of tv shows you know how netflix has their own series and stuff yeah, yeah. did you guys all watch like the marvel ones like iron fist i, I did Jessica nick Jones has not and daredevil yeah, i highly recommend you watch iron fist i thought that was very good yeah i'm going to start watching luke cage and soon, and then after that, Iron Fist. I'm really excited That's... for uh, the Defenders. It comes out next month. Wait, this month? What? Or next month. Well, it's August. First. Okay. Yeah, it comes out Wait, later this month. What are you looking forward month. to? Uh, the Defenders. It's the team up show with Daredevil, uh, Jessica Jones, yeah. Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. Yeah. Um, I Looks can't wait for really the good. Justice League. Yes. I saw. Did you guys see I Wonder am Woman? I'm so excited for that. Yeah. yeah. It was so okay, good. they finally did good with the DC movie. I mean, they still do good. They're just not like Marvel quality to me. Yeah. Have you seen the new? But Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman definitely was good. And yes, I yeah. have. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. I see, really liked it. Dylan really liked it, and my dad really did not like it. To me, the reason it was good is because beforehand, Mar Marvel sold Spider-Man to Sony, and they made the movies. Yeah. Now Marvel bought it back, and it's finally good. Yeah. Marvel also bought back X-Men from Fox. So that should be good. If Where did you make see a Marvel that? Because I haven't seen anything about that. Um, I play this game. It's called Future Fight, and they actually have X-Men in the game now, which means they bought it back, because before they couldn't put it in the game, because technically they no longer own them. I think it's just movie rights, because there's plenty of games that have balls. Mm -hmm. I don't know, my dad told me that X-Men was finally bought back. I might have just missed it, but last I saw. We'll look into that and have an update. Yeah. I'm looking it up. Andy, what? what I know Did you don't have very many television options, but what do you like to watch? What do I oh, like to watch? You. Yeah. Well, I know. I mean, right. I know you love Kool-Aid. But... <laughs> oh, yeah. Number <laughs> one like in my heart too. forever. Is there anything else to watch? And I... I, I, I yes. There isn't. There really isn't. 
Actually, never mind. I just looked it up. It says X Men deal with is officially dead. They won't get it back, and they said it's going to be hard to get Fantastic Four and X Men back to Marvel. Yeah. Andy, Which would, sucks. Would you like because... to tell anyone about that uh, that other video that you found? Tom other and Jerry. video. <laughs> oh yeah, Tom and Jerry uh, porn edition. What? <laughs> yeah. We were we were just sitting there, and I was I was doing a cat cam where I had my connect on my Xbox in a Skype call, and I was just filming my cat. And then Andy decided to to I don't I don't even know what he was doing. I went, I went to go watch Kool Aid Born Again. <laughs> but instead, you found something else. Yeah, I found Tom and Jerry Born. That's hot. It is. I mean, like. Do you want to describe this one, or do you want? To, do you think someone should just go and watch it for themselves? And I, it, right? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> how saucy do you want me to get with the details? Uh, we leave some stuff to the imagination, but. All right, all right. So imagine, imagine, right? A black cat. I'm imagining a black Perform? Not really. Do you know like who the it, Cavaliers are, obviously? Yeah, I know who they are. You, okay, have you ever heard of Kyrie Irving? I think so. He's the point guard. LeBron James is the small forward. And uh, they were such a good... Cavaliers are about to suck because once Kyrie leaves, LeBron is going to leave, so it'll be no bueno. Yeah. Redskins, the Eagles, the Giants, and the uh, Cowboys are. That's gonna be a really strong conference to compete against, you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. We're back. Cause they're all good. Uh, my my internet just decided to die, and was fighting me to come back. But it was just on my computer this time, so I have no clue what happened. And then my mic wasn't working, so I'm thinking something happened with my USB ports. Not sure what that was about. So, uh, let's go back to what Andy was saying. The last thing it heard was, imagine a black cat. And uh, <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm imagining a black cat, now now what? And then, and then, uh... <laughs> Alright. Yeah. No. Alright, so you're imagining the black cat, right? Imagining it has white paws, black cat. So, uh, time yeah. out, are we recording again? Yes. I think. I knew that. I be. was just checking. Yes, we are. Right. So, you're imagining the cat. White cat, white paws. Got it. Now give it a 12 inch dick. Oh. 12, 12 inch. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> and imagine that getting caught in a mouse trap a lot. Ow. Wait, how does, how does it set the mouse trap off multiple times. It'll like slam down and then just Oh um, that that's where Jerry comes in. 
Jerry's like, I don't want your dick. Okay. He's a mouse trap. He places like the mouse trap, like Jerry or Tom does. It's like, hey, I'm gonna put cheese in here, and he's gonna die. And Jerry walks out like, mm, free cheese, hell yeah! And I'm willing to go put this mouse trap on <laughs> fucking Tom's dick. Okay. Yeah, he says that. And um. Did, did they get yeah. the actual voice actor to say that? <laughs> Do oh, Tom totally. and Jerry talk in the actual show? <laughs> yeah, they speak a uh, piglin. I didn't answer the but, question. Um, was, it, was it the actual actors? Yeah. Are the actual actors still alive? That shows from like the 50s or something. Tom and Jerry? Yeah. No. no. Are they? Yeah, the show's ancient. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up. Keep keep explaining. It might be right, 60s, but it is not. Well, there's been newer versions since, mouse traps. but the original Tom and Jerry. Well, um. Anyways, there's this uh, there's this female duck character, right? Nineteen. And uh, and basically, uh, this whole time, just apparent. I guess like Tom just wants to really fuck this duck. You know what and, they say when you know, just fuck a duck. Just yeah. Have you ever heard that expression? A duck. Fuck a duck. I heard uh, about a dog. Caleb says that sometimes. Yeah, he does. <laughs> And I um, guess we know where he got it from now. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, pretty much what happens is, like, Tom sets up these, like, traps or whatever, and he's like, hey, I'm gonna kill this stupid mouse, I'm gonna fuck that duck. And, wait a uh, minute, wait a minute. Caleb does back. graphic design. Oh, boy. Oh, is he the creator of this video? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he is. We'll have to ask him if we ever get him on a podcast again. Again, it, more about the, more about that later. But what? Just let the man finish explaining the like five right, minute right. video. And so and so, pretty much from what I understand yeah. is that he sets these traps up. Jerry just like fucking is like fuck your traps. They're shit. I'm going to trap you in your own traps, and then I'm gonna go fuck this duck. And then he fucks the duck with his little mouse penis. I thought it was twelve inches. Oh, that was the cat. No, no, that's oh, okay. Yeah. Come on, then, Nick. And, and that's it? That's it. That's pretty much and it. And they fuck. Okay. That's... Yeah. I'm sorry to tell you, I will not be checking that out, but... Why not? The recommendations know? just didn't sell it for me. Yeah. Well, I do I'm, I'm in the middle of out. writing a fan fiction right now. I, I will check <laughs> that out. Anything you make, I'll check out. Honestly, I feel, I feel accomplished now. You should. So, uh, what I do want to go watch is the Hands Like Houses podcast featuring the squares and tools, which is an inside joke only, like, three people will get. So, the original episode of the Squares and Tools podcast, well, th well, backtrack, the Squares and Tools podcast was created by Caleb and some other people. The other people don't really matter. Actually, I don't really remember who else it was. But, it was Caleb. Dylan, it was Caleb. He, he was one of the main guys. So, first episode, playing some Pool Nation, because you know that game's the bomb, and uh, we had Caleb. Well, the, f we had Caleb the first episode featured me, Nick, Caleb, David, and Andy. So, we had a ton of people on that one. As you can see, most most of episodes have four. So, uh, I think all might have had four. And he was he was actually there, and it, it was a pretty good episode, maybe, possibly, probably as trash, it was our first ever one, but... It was it wasn't awful, and as as I do, I was listening to music as I was playing, and I, for some reason why did you do that? Well, I I don't know, I don't know. tunes. Uh, yeah. So I used to listen to music on my computer with like, I forget how I did it. Actually, no. When I'm playing, I usually play music from my phone, hooked up to a Bluetooth speaker. But, so, that the music wasn't in the mic while we were playing, I had it coming through my computer so that only I could hear it through the headset, and we would be good. Little did I know, OBS, the program I record with, this one right here, yay, infinite screens, uh, it, it records everything your computer hears. I thought it was just the Skype, the way I had it set up. So the whole time, 
we were podcasting. I was listening to this band called Hands Like Houses. Probably no one but Dylan here knows who that is. And so the the entire podcast, the only one to feature Caleb, the thing he cre he helped co-create was just blasted out by me. Like, it wasn't even quiet in the background. It was just, like, blasting out everything else. It was at the forefront of the video, and you could barely hear anyone else. Yeah, you could in hear... In fact, I think Nick was the only other person you could hear. I, I think it... It was either maybe. only Nick or everyone but Nick. Something. I can't remember. So, like, everyone but Nick. Something happened happened. I, I thought it was all good. And it was not at all. And everyone was yelling mad. Sounds, sounds like you don't give your fault. It was totally my fault. All you, you bitch. Yeah, so, oh, that's just kind of funny how the only podcast with the podcast creator is blasted out by music and potentially didn't record this, him at all. This was almost an entire year ago now. Yeah. So, let me check. Uh... We have time for about one or two more stories. So, this thing happened on this great game, I'm sure everyone knows, called Minecraft. Oh boy. So, oh boy. we have this world, and if you, if you play Minecraft, you'll probably understand how stupid this is. And if you don't, well, then you're going to be like, how does that work? And so you, won't under, you won't understand, but you'll... You, you you could probably you could probably catch on. So usually in Minecraft, you start the game off, you chop down some trees with your bare fist, and then you get some tools, you get some materials, and you usually go mining, get some stuff, and then you come out and you build a house. And that's what we did. We built a house. But since Dylan was there, he he plays creative more, where there's no survival aspects. And you have like unlimited health, and you can fly around and have unlimited blocks of any type you want. So Dylan plays a bit weirder than everyone else, and he just instead of like making usually people start with like a wood house because you can just like chop down trees and get wood really easily, and it looks nice. But Dylan decided to go and dig up the ground everywhere and make us a dirt hut. And for some reason, we just decided to, to never get rid of it. Like, we just, we upgraded it a lot, and we made another, like, big platform in the sky that we started to live on. But we always stuck around that hut we originally made, and it's, to this day, it is still a, a, just this big dirt hut that has, like, all our main stuff in it, except for Dylan. Cause, because like I, I, said, I later went on to build a giant glass platform in the sky. Yeah, which is really cool. But... Everyone else still lives in that dirt hut, which is just kind of funny, because we've played days on that world and live in a dirt hut. So, we we have some issues with that world, where structures, so like villages and mine sh well not mine shops, I don't think they're structures, but like villages and desert temples and water temples, they are completely messed up. Like, there's like no villages on the world. There, we have a glitch that's not supposed to be able to happen at all. And where... do you want to explain that since you found it? What? What? The uh, guardians. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I just found a whole bunch of guardians just swimming around in the ocean, just for and no reason. These guardians are supposed to protect this temple thing underwater that has like some sponges, which doesn't sound like they'd be cool loot, but they're actually really cool. And they have like gold blocks and stuff, so you can get like a lot of good stuff from there. And we were trying to power up this beacon thing, which you need blocks of materials like gold for. So we were, we were like, oh, Ocean Temple, right as we need these last few blocks, this is going to be perfect. We're going to go mine it, we're going to get out of there, we're going to come back home, and we're going to be set. And then we go underwater to find this temple. And first of all, my first thing was, why are they not... Like, they're supposed to give you this effect where, like, you mine really slow, and it's called mining fatigue. Yeah. And I'm like, why are they not giving us mining fatigue? They, like, changed that in the newest version where they don't do that anymore? No one knew. And we're just like, oh, okay, okay if they don't give it, I mean, I'm not going to complain. And we, we looked around for, like, 20 minutes, we're like, I, I don't see this temple. This thing is supposed to be this huge thing underwater, and it's just not here. 
and we we died a bunch of times, reloaded the world, and it, it just wasn't there. So we we didn't know what to do. That's just one of the things that's messed up on that world. So because of that, that was like the last straw. I'm like, I in the past few days I spent like 16 hours on this world. I've been getting really into Minecraft in this world, but I can't take this whole structure broken thing. So we were trying to find a new world, and that was a very long explanation to get to the fact that we were looking for a new world. But I don't care. So we were looking for a new world. The point is we spent a lot of time on this world. Yes. And uh, I was telling Dylan about how people post these seeds, which is like the the number that, like, generates the world so like if i have a really cool world i'm like yo type this in and you'll get the exact same world the so people make these videos on like these really cool seeds that have all these really awesome loots like riot spawn and stuff and i didn't really want to do that but i i was doing it anyway so we were, we kept trying it and it wasn't working but for some reason i still was saving these worlds that we were trying to find for our new one and then we eventually got one that was good or we are about to get one that was good. And I'm like, I have like four worlds that are just like, we spawned in, looked around, it wasn't right, and quit. So I'm going to start deleting these worlds. And the world with the D, which is the cutoff name, because it doesn't fit the whole thing, of the world with the dirt hut, that's why I was explaining it's a dirt hut. Uh, that world was fifth on the list, I believe. There is YYY, which is just something I decided I didn't want it to be called New World, so I just spammed my keyboard. And got that. And then three new worlds. I deleted the three new worlds. Because didn't need them. And I was deleting YYY. And I have video proof of this. That I can play right now actually. I'll, I'll just. I'll talk over this. And I'll, I'll explain what happened. So I was deleting the worlds. i that stupid thing another time. And you can hear me in this. Yeah, let's so, see, so I don't need this world, world anymore. Didn't need it. Another new world. Don't need let's this. Let's see what world it was. Anymore. Like, yep, don't need it. And as you can see, right underneath don't the world need of y, the y, y, I'm on Y Y Y. You can see it's selected. I delete it. What? And it just it deletes the world underneath. And I well rip our world. I, I didn't know what to do. Our world was just gone. And I think after the fact, I well, I, I knew right at the start, I just didn't want to say anything. I was like messing around with my thumbsticks as it was deleting. And I'm guessing that like screwed it up somehow. And deleted the one under it. I don't, I don't know, it was selected on YYY the whole time. So I don't know how, but a world got deleted. As you saw, it was gone. But Dylan loves to take credit for this. So I'll let him explain it. So I came in clutch and literally saved the world. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so if you don't know, Xbox runs on a cloud save data kind of thing. So like if if I make a a world or something on my Xbox, I can go it's, on someone else's. Basically, the idea is it's to help prevent cheating and. Basically, like, if I'm playing Halo and I leave off on Mission 3, and then I go over to my friend's house and log on to his Xbox, I can boot up my game and resume from Mission 3 and continue. Because all the save data is saved in the cloud. Which it's supposed to auto-save and update and everything. Yeah. So, when that happened, I told Nick to X out of the game, or did I... No, don't X out of the game. Go off. Did I say... Yeah, go offline. So he went, disconnected his internet so that it couldn't upload that he had deleted it because to we, the cloud. We think that it it uploads to the cloud every time you close your game. And for some reason, Brady's name changed to random stuff. So no no clue why that happened. But the live colon whatever that's Brady. If you couldn't figure it out. But uh, so basically, we disconnected his xbox from the internet before it could upload the most recent save data to show that he had deleted that world then we logged him onto my xbox and went and opened the game up and it had the old world in there 
So I copied it and basically just tried to make sure it was safely there. And then we basically just went through a bunch of steps to get it so it would go on to his Xbox as well. So doing this, it was like 3 at night, and then we couldn't get it, and then we just went to bed and fixed it the next day. So technically, it took like 17 hours to get this world back. The important thing is he deleted the world, and it's now back. So yeah, we do have the world back now. But thinking about this now, we played the world, and... We got to a certain spot, and then we stopped. I was like right in the middle of building my house, because Dylan said something like... I f don't think he was serious, but he's like, Alright, do it. And I'm like, okay, I will. So I like saved and exit the world and started up a new one. But I don't think I ever closed my game. So all the progress we made that day, theoretically, should have been gone. But it was updated to the newest version. I don't know how that happened. But that's a good question. But eventually we we had, did a bunch of tests like we logged on two other accounts and had Dylan bring his Xbox to my my home and try it out. And we tried with like two different profiles to make sure and eventually figured out how it worked and then did it with my account and at the risk of deleting every single world I've ever made and and or the world with the D and the world with the D copy but we got them all the world to save but we're still probably never gonna play it again we used the scientific method kids we did stay in school or don't <laughs> Unless you can make a tech business and if become you, a billionaire. If you have the opportunity to do do something that pays you a lot without going to school, then don't. Because ain't nobody got time for that. I would say or money, but if if you're getting something to give you money to not let you go to school, then you would have money to go to school. So that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, I had another thing in mind that could have been our closer, but I kind of forget what it was, and that took like 12 minutes, so this is becoming pretty long, and by pretty long I mean like 50 minutes, so very long. It's been a while since we've had a podcast that long. It's been a while since we've had a podcast in general. But, so why not make it a long one? But that, and I think this podcast has been higher quality than most. So if you think I so, so. I, I, just, I don't know. It seems like the content has been more entertaining. I guess I guess the key was just replacing Dave with Brady. <laughs> I guess so. But <laughs> I have a question. We got to talk about yeah. Kool Aid and Tom and Jerry porn. I mean, clearly better. All right. What's your question? Are you guys looking forward to Call of Duty World War Two? Yes. yes. See, the only thing that I like about like okay, so to me, Battlefield I, I like more because you know how you can do all sorts of fun crap in the campaign and uh, Black Ops. You can drive stuff. You can't do that on multiplayer versus Battlefield. You can. Yeah. But that's like never worked well. In <laughs> <laughs> Halo is life. In uh like. I don't know which one. In some of the old Call of Duty's, you can drive stuff. And I think they said... Yeah. Do you think there's, they announced that like one map will have something you can drive in online in Call of Duty? Do I, I didn't see that. I think I could be wrong on that. But I haven't really been following it much. I haven't been following it too much. But for some reason this year I wanted to like all be completely new when I get the game. Yeah. And luckily, me and Dylan both got PS4s over this summer, so if possible, we might be able to get a beta code for that and play the early beta. So, more beta. I'm kind of, 
I'm kind of mad they switched over to PS4 for. I'm very mad. But yeah, I, I've said I love being able to get all the DLC early and crap. Yeah, I've said this a lot before. I, I, I prefer Xbox strongly, so I'm not just saying this because like they they left my console. But if you're gonna be with a like working with a company for years and years like Activision and Microsoft were for this partnership for the get the month early and stuff. Yeah. I, I just don't think it's it's very cool of Activision to be like, yeah, we worked with you for years, but we're gonna, just gonna, out of the blue, decide to switch over to your rival company and give them all this stuff, really, instead. Well, and what not, are they gonna do? Switch to the Nintendo? I, Why I not? Guess, but not only did they, they switch over to, to, to Sony instead of Microsoft, which, yeah, that, that sucks, but, I mean, it's not that awful, because it's just a month. But they've been doing significantly more stuff for the PlayStation and Sony than they were Microsoft. Like, they're giving all this early beta access stuff. They're, like, they gave an MWR campaign early to people who pre-ordered. And, like, that, that scene, basically, the whole game at the time, they, there was, like, some of the multiplayer stuff. But compared to what it is now, it's nothing. So they liked that the entire campaign like, early. I was like, that's just so much all xbox ever got was dlc a month early like i i don't know like i get it that they uh have to give it early because that's who they're working with but i just wish they'd give it all out at the same time yeah that's what i've said like even when i was when they were giving it a month early to us i never understood it it doesn't make sense like i i know exclusives are like big things for stuff but i I think that all Basically, games and all it's... content should be released at the same time on all platforms. Yeah, I, I mean, like... Never it, it see, never, if they no. did that, there would be no point in having three to four consoles. I'm, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Like, without, the same time, without Halo know. on Xbox and without The Last of Us on PlayStation, like, what's the point of... Yeah, like, I just think they should be released at the same time. The people and that, who can't afford that's basically seven different consoles to get all the different exclusives. They're that's kinda... that's basically because Sony's like, hey, people will buy our console over Xbox because they want their stuff earlier. So we'll give Activision some money, well, yeah, so that I, I they let it, they it. release it on. Here's a good question: What do you think has the better exclusives? PS4, I still say Xbox. Nintendo or Xbox. The Last of Us is a, a phenomenal game. But I still think Xbox, because Gears of War and Halo and some other what, stuff. What, like Forza. what other exclusives does PS4 have? Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Horizon is really Zero good. Dawn, I gotta go. I, oh, they have Little Big Planet. I have to say Xbox, because Halo is my favorite game franchise. So. But like, I'm trying to think of what it's called. Um, as I can't remember his name. He had the red. Like paint on his face, he was white bodied oh, or God gray. Of War. God of War. Yeah, I've never played um, God of War. I've heard that's really good though. Yeah, but like we had the Xbox has Forza and yeah. what else? Halo. Yeah, we have, we Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Over. Sunset. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was. World of Kathleen. <laughs> Is that really? Sunset exciting? Overdrive was just supposed to be a <laughs> dick around game, like just like a whatever game, and it turned out to be really good. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but to me, like, I like racing games, but Forza is the only good one to me. Yeah. It like, I hated uh, Project Cars. Games. Hated it. The only racing game I play besides Forza is uh, Mario Kart. So. <laughs> I've only Fair played enough. one racing game. Fair enough. I played, a, like, a NASCAR game when I was, like, five. Man, and all I would try to do is just her. ramp <laughs> ramp over, like, the gate and dash into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> when you that's your, your, your goal was to smash a crowd of people with a car. <laughs> that was literally nice. it. I was just like, kill, kill, murder. <laughs> I wish uh, for the free games every month, Xbox would give out better games. I mean, recently they've given out some pretty good ones, but like, I'm really the excited backwards for compatible Station. games aren't that great. Yeah. I just want Saints Row 2. Yeah. Or 3. What is Trials Fusion? Oh, oh okay, I got it. Minute, minute, minute. Yeah, yeah, I want that. that. I want that a lot. I know a bunch of people that Because I played the it. first Trials, and I loved it. And don't they have uh, four-wheelers in that one now? Uh, 
have any. I think they do. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. I I just know somehow somebody that I'm my home Xboxing with, which is basically like sharing their games with me. They had it or had something that the Xbox thought they had it, so it showed up in my ready to install section. I'm like, oh sweet! I've always wanted to play this game. I'm gonna download it. Downloaded it. It was like 20 gigabytes, so it took quite a while. And then I got. It. I'm like, all right, sweet, time to play. And I started. I was like, do you own this game or app? I'm like, <laughs> wait a minute. I ha I have thought I did. And it's a really good game. And never mind. Yeah. Played. I'm just like dirt bike. Hell yeah. <laughs> Watch Dogs was free a while back. That was pretty yeah. awesome. Like, they have oh, yeah. their good games every once in a while. Remember Very when Halo rarely. 3 was free? Like when Xbox first came out, it was. Oh yeah, when it, when it like, first the free started, game sucked. When, when it first started, they they announced a lot of good stuff like Halo Three, Assassin's Creed Two, stuff like that. But I never knew they gave they... out Halo Three for free. Yeah, yeah. and Reach. Halo and... Reach was free. I think. Yeah. Our stuff. That kind of pisses me off. I wish I would have been able to get that. I wasn't there for uh, Halo 3, sadly. Yeah. But uh, the the current free game, Runbow, it's just another one of those random games that nobody heard heard about and probably doesn't usually care about. But we were playing that today, and it's it's actually a pretty fun game. It's only rated basically three stars, though. Not sure what people don't like about it, but... Yeah. Hashtag... Give Runbo more respect. <laughs> Make Runbo great in the first place. <laughs> All right. Well, this hashtag has Make been, Runbo uh, great for once. <laughs> this has been quite the long podcast. So, before we get into another long discussion, I think it's time to uh, end it off. So, thank you, thank you for watching. watching. Thank you to our newest member to join the podcast team, Brady. Let's Be sure to come back fun, every uh, day for brand new videos yeah. here on Teardown Productions and Radioactive Cookies. Unless we don't. Don't forget to subscribe to Andy D for shit posts. <laughs> like, like, look at that dog, or, or uh, whatever you called your. Or that uh, scarce yeah. face reveal. That was <laughs> a pretty good video. Yeah, a Andy likes to post a lot of like twenty-second videos, and uh, two GTA I like Five the videos. Shit so yeah. yeah. If you're into Some that stuff. I was messing around in the director. Yeah. And if you like gaming stuff, check out Radioactive Cookies where we post the videos Thursday and Saturday. If you like Brady, watch this podcast again. <laughs> if you like Brady, if you like me, down. follow me on Instagram at Brady Bushman. Do that. I'm trying to become an Instagram model. <laughs> if but if you liked this episode more than the rest, let us know so I know if it's just me or not. And, we'll and if sure you do, we can back. guarantee Dave will not be on the next one either. <laughs> and the next one. And the next one. But if you do like Dave and want him to be back, be sure to say. And if anyone honestly watches this far into the video, comment down below, dropped frames equals 0.00%, and I will come to your house and give you a hug. We will um, mail you I'm a cookie. I'm commenting that now. <laughs> yeah. Only well, if you watch this far. But you also gotta send me a, a screenshot that you watched the whole thing. Actually, I need okay, to do that. We will really send you a that. cookie. I mean, Brady's in charge of concessions. Yep, okay. So he's gonna well, send you a cookie. I don't uh, think that's how this is gonna here, work. Nope, it's since working. you're already here, might as well like the video, you know. Yep. Okay. If any well. of you guys comment that, that doesn't count, by the way. <laughs> it does. Don't worry. <laughs> it definitely doesn't. Alright, Dave will supply the cookies. Somebody text yes. him. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a good day. Or I, if I need to be like Gordon Freeze can, have a good day. On what you're walking, unless you're watching this at night. Have a good night. And just say Gordon Freeze the, can. Yes, I did. Yes. And if you're watching this in the evening, good evening. Pretty much whenever you're watching this, good at that. Goodbye. This has been your host, Gordon Freeze can.